Hey there, Aquarius. Okay, it's time for one of these energy check readings, but I figured I'll do it in the um, Halloween theme. You know, I got a bunch of cards, so I want to use some. Okay, so let's see what we're doing here. We're going to first have to look to see about the past. What happened in the past? Okay, and don't forget to follow me on Rumble, guys, because um, I, I'm trying to. Um, so far, it's going well. I'm posting all the signs, uh, one video, with all the signs, and it's timestamped on Friday. So if you haven't checked it out, but I got a lot of videos over there, all different from here. All right, so let's see what we have going on for you. What happened in the past? Let's see about the past energy. Love goddess, you attract love, attention, and good sex into your life now. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Let's see about this. Let's get into that past energy. Hmm. These cards are big. I hope I can squeeze them all in here. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this was something destined. Past energy. Okay. And we have here the Nine of Pentacles single energy. So maybe you want to stay single here. You're enjoying the good life, huh? <laughs> That's what's happening. And then we have, but the Nine of Swords. Ooh. Why are we not sleeping? It's too much, um, you know what, there. <laughs> okay, let's see. That's why you're not sleeping. Okay, oops. Let's see here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Don't know if I'm going to be able to fit all this stuff. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, Commitment. Wow. So did you find someone in the past? It almost feels like with the commitment card, maybe, yeah, you're having a good time and someone wanted commitment you wanted to stay single and now that's causing their anxiety from the past. Because that's what happened. I know this is not going to be for everyone because a lot of you guys, if you got someone here and you're happy, you're probably not watching these readings, right? <laughs> Let's see here. Huh. Wow. Okay, so you are... We have the magician here? So you are manifesting something here. Hmm. Oh, I gotta fix my phone. Hang on one second. I'll be right... Okay, I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but I was getting a lot of comments coming through on my phone, so I had to turn the sound down. Alright, so then we... And then we have the magician, right? Okay, so... Where was I? That, that. Okay, so the magician is on this card, which is ah. So, well, you might be in the past here. We got the magician here, so maybe it's like saying you're working on something here, <clears throat> manifesting something here. We, or unless someone was trying to manifest being single. Is that what's happening? Let's see about the why we have the nine of swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? You can only take if it resonates with you. Wow. We have the Eight of Swords. Someone's in their head about this. What is going on? You might have a getting a lot of attention, but maybe you're in a commitment and you're you're saying, Oh, I might want I might not want to be in this commitment. Again, this is not going to be for everyone. Okay, that's past energy for someone. Okay, so let's see what is happening in the present then. Okay, present energy. What's happening in the present? You know, it's going to be a little tight trying to squeeze all these in here, but we'll see. They're going to be on top of each other. <laughs> Okay, so we have a third eye open. Your intuition is on point now, and you see beyond the veil. Okay. Let's see about that. Let's 
So we have here the Three of Pentacles. You might want to work, collaborate with someone at this time. Or you can see something coming in where you maybe want to work on something. We have the lovers. Ooh. Really? Maybe you found someone you want to work with? Hmm. Choice card. Gemini energy. We have the Queen of Swords. Okay. There might be something that maybe you, you're realizing something or you're connecting to something. And you might want to work on it. But you need to um, know the truth about something maybe with the Queen of Swords coming up. Get a charm on that. We have music. Something about music. Are you hearing songs or something that's um, con you're connecting with here? Let's see. Almost feels like you're in harmony with someone or you're feeling that um, harmony with someone here. Okay, let me do that. See what we get here. Okay. So why is the three of pentacles here in the present? Let's see. Got two. Okay. So well, we have the ten of cups. And we have, oh, two tens here. That's very interesting. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups. So it feels like you're completing something or want something here. You want to, something about maybe destined to be a family with someone. Or destined, something to do with the family. Working together with the family. Okay. What about the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? The emperor is someone is someone taking charge or someone I almost feel like someone's bossing up here you know that would be like okay because you know what not for nothing Aquarius does not like wimpy people so either this is your energy bossing up to something or someone that you've been waiting for is finally bossing up okay let's see about this um queen of swords So, there might be someone that's regressed something. Now they have to come back to come back towards you. Is, is this a past person or it could be someone new too. But maybe someone, either someone did not take an opportunity when they had a chance to. <clears throat> or someone that's regretting. <coughs> Sorry. I don't mind. It's like a tickle in my throat that came when I'm starting to talk about this person. Someone gets choked up maybe. Or maybe that's the whole thing. Maybe every time they want to talk to you, they choke. Regret here. Remorse. Okay, let's get the words on this. Um, what you call it here? This Queen of Swords. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. A phone call. Return with a gift. Okay, someone's going to reach out to you. They're going to message you somehow or want to talk to you, show up, text, email, something. And they're going to return, but they're going to bring you a gift too. Wow. Okay. Almost feels like someone's bossing up. Okay, so now let's see about the hidden influences. Let's, what don't you see about something's influence the situation here? Let's see what we get on that. Aries energy with the Emperor. I don't know if I said that. Okay, so a mask intent. Someone has ulterior motives that they are concealing. Ooh. Okay. I don't like that. But you know, your intuition is strong, so they're not going to get away with it. <laughs> kind of foolish to even try that. But let's see. Let's see what we get here. What does that mean?
So we have the chariot. Okay, someone's wanting to come in very quickly here, or someone might just show up. Or something might change real quick here. Cancer energy. And we have, oh, see now here, someone could have went to get a reading done. Because this is hidden influences. So maybe someone got a reading done about you. Let me get one more. The moon and the two of wands. At a crossroads here to make a decision. But look at the moon. That's intuition and it's also secret. Something hidden. Fear. Someone needs to make a decision here. Okay. Let's see what we get on these. Why is a chariot here? I just got a chill. Ooh. A chill. Chill. Ooh. <laughs> I'm getting chills. Okay, let's see about the chariot. Moving quick here. Maybe you'll get a chill when you feel them around. Look at that. This is the chariot again. This is confirming that something's going to happen quickly here. Maybe someone's plan is just showing up quickly. Let's see about this Valdez. Valdez, how do you say that name? Yeah, Valdez. Valdez. Okay. The tarot reader. Let's see about that coming up. Someone must have went to someone for a reading about you oh we have here the queen of swords pretty sure this is queen of swords just make sure yeah this is queen of swords they might have went maybe this person's a queen of swords or this is your energy coming up again saying okay maybe this person says you know what you can go to Aquarius, but you better speak the truth because otherwise Aquarius will cut you out. Okay, maybe, you know, someone knows. Okay, we have here. Wheel of Fortune, Divine Time is meant to be here. Okay. So let's see about this Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Mm, someone wants a new beginning and they're at a crossroads I think of how to do it but they do want a new beginning unless they have a choice between you and someone else but I really feel like the energy feels like they're really focused on you though let's see about the unless they have a backup <laughs> but it might I feel like more of the two wands they they don't know which way to do this how to do this how to approach you there might be a little fear here with the moon Pisces energy let's see yeah, because it's something that happened here. We have the Three of Swords. There is a third party situation involved here. And maybe that's why they're afraid to how to approach this. Let's see what we get on this other Queen of Swords. It's weird how we only have two court cards out so far and they're the same one. Apology. The X. Career honest okay something apology from the ex they're going to be honest about their career if that makes sense to you but i don't like the fact that something ulterior motives here i don't like that at all but hey that's not going to be for everyone too we got to keep that in mind these are general maybe that doesn't pertain to your situation i think you might know okay so you know what? we're going to tap into your energy now what's happening with you Shape-shifting. You can now free yourself from the confines of expectations. Yeah, and things are shifting for you. You're shape-shifting. You can shape-shift into something else here. Wow, that's pretty major. Okay, so let's get more on that. Actually, I'll put it this way so I can see the words. I'll do it that way. These are big cards. I'm trying to get away. I'm going to fit them all on the table here. Okay. 
So we have the Four of Cups. So you might be not seeing something coming towards you. You might be focusing on something from the past or something here. The Three Cups sitting here. You're not seeing something coming in, an opportunity coming in. There's an Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's an offer coming in for you. A new start. Passion. Okay, and we have the page. Oh, okay. Hmm. Offer of Love. Page of Cups. Interesting. Okay, Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be someone younger. Could be Apology with the Page of Cups, too. Let's see. We ha Oh, yeah, someone wants to fix something. Okay, it might be the same energy here. That um, Maybe someone has noticed, too, that you have changed. You're probably not the same person. You know, we're all going to be different with this, all this energy going on. We're not going to be the same. So we have here, someone wanting to fix something, mend something, bring the pieces together here. Um, let's see about the four of cups. May they feel like they missed an opportunity. Okay. Oh, look at this. We have the ace of cups. Someone's definitely coming in with a love offer. Okay. Isn't that ace of cups, ace of wands, a lot of passion. Wow. And we have here, this could be the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is also supposed to be your energy, though. So this could be that you're coming in. You might just have a lot of love. Um, you're loving what you're doing. The King of Pentacles, either someone coming towards you, but it could also be your energy that you're um, doing very well financially, abundant here, stable. You might be you know, creating things that are bringing you money with the Ace of Wands here. Let me get the charm on this King of Pentacles, though. Okay, what is this? Oh, we do have the Elephant for Memories. So this, uh, it feels like someone, you know I'm doing your energy. This is supposed to be your energy. Um, we have the Elephant. To so me, that's like some kind of memory here with this person. Okay, so we have here the Page of Cups. I think they're coming in with a love offer here. Wow. Yeah, they see you as Queen of Wands. Or you could switch this around. Could be a Queen of Wands coming towards you and you're the, the um, King of Pentacles. But take it. There's, I, I think... I think this person is very attracted to you. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of love here. Okay, we have the key to the heart. Yeah, this is definitely a love reading here. I think someone's very strongly thinking about you. They can't get you out of their mind because this is like overpowering this. I'm trying to do your energy, but this person's in it. You know, this person just is so strongly thinking about you. Okay, let's get the words on the King of Pentacles. The Queen of, uh, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn... The Page of Cups is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And then the Queen of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have here, always break up alone. Always break up alone. Okay, so if this is this King of Pentacles, it's like when you break up with this person, they just, they just, they're alone. It almost feels like even if they're with someone else, they feel alone. A weird energy I'm feeling. Okay, let's see about the Page of Cups. Let's see about this page of cups. Message. Wow. After third party options. Ooh. Okay, so someone had a third party option. Now they're going to message you. You know, they maybe they went with someone else and they realized no, this is not going to work. Uh, again, only take if it resonates with you. Let's get something on this Queen of Wands. If it's not yours, leave it. Okay. We have here. Caring. Past. 
Money. Okay, this person, someone might have cared about more money in the past than love. So let's see about this money. Caring past money. Let's see if we get a clarifier on that. Okay, someone might have been caring in the past about saving money. Okay, take it if it resonates. Okay, so now let's see about the influence of others. What's going on with the influence of others? Bubbling up, you are brewing new ideas in the depths of your soul. So someone is thinking of something, thinking of some new ideas here. Okay, that's the influence of others. Let's see what we get on that. Someone's up to something. A lot of thinking. I think this person, if they went with someone else, maybe you know, maybe you you didn't want to be with them and. They just can't replace you. There's like no one but you will do. Is the energy I'm feeling for someone here. So we have here the King of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So here's a like a a leader type of energy. Um, very here's this is a King of Wands will match the Queen of Wands. Very attractive, and they might be working on their wish fulfillment here at the nine of cups but they're brewing something the hermit see this is a it's so weird because this energy feels like this okay whoever this is 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 alone they're trying to make their wishes come true they're working on something here let me get a charm on this king of wands aries leo sagittarius Okay, a bird. So there's some kind of communication. This work person or someone here is working on communicating. This is also someone could be getting messages from spirit with the bird. Okay, so we'll put that there. King of Wands. This is the Queen of Cups. Very loving, nurturing energy here. Also intuitive. So someone is working on something. They're very intuitive. There's a, a energy to nurture and love. And then we have, but they're at a crossroads of how to make their wishes come true. The two of swords. Okay. <clears throat> and the hermit. This Someone could be really going deep within and getting answers. Maybe they're meditating or they're, um, feels like a very spiritual energy. Virgo. Okay, yes, someone is trying to bring things into balance, temperance, or being patient about something. Sagittarius energy. Okay, so now I need to get the words on the King of Wands. Did I get a... Did I do something on the... Oh, no, I didn't do something on the Queen, did I? Okay, let me get something on the Queen. The bird was on the King, so... We have here... We have, there's a, there's, someone's going through a major change, it seems like. We have the frog. So the frog is transformation change. It also could be taking a leap, jumping at something here. Okay, so let's get something on the king of wands. Freedom, soulmate, friend or friends. Okay, so this could be a friend that maybe feels like they're a soulmate to you or someone is looking to get free. I don't feel like someone's breaking free. Maybe this past energy, maybe this wasn't your energy. Maybe this was someone else's. Because this is past with this, someone getting a lot of attention. Or maybe someone was, but now they're like, they don't want to be in a connection. It might not be your energy. Okay, let's see about this Queen of Cups. <clears throat> Jealousy. Expect revealed. Ooh. So someone's gonna be revealed that they're jealous. Okay, so this is something bubble. Maybe that's some someone has to make a move because they're getting jealous. May they see you with someone else, they're getting jealous. Okay. So next let's move on to Okay, so what should you do now? What should you be doing? Let's see what we get on that. What should you do?
temptation. You will be tested on where your heart is truly invested. Wow. Okay, this is giving you a heads up. This is going to be a test. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get on that. I don't have this. Okay, this is upside down, and this is the King of Swords. Okay, so with the King of Swords being upside down, it might be that you're not really sure. King of Swords is already very intelligent. You know, maybe you don't feel like you're you're thinking right. It's like maybe you feel a little off. Your judgment might be off with the temptation. The King of Swords being upside down here in reverse. Let's see, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and we have here. What is this? Oh, we have the wolf. Interesting. Now the wolf, we could look at this so many different ways. The wolf could be a lone wolf. The wolf could be, you know, a predator in a way, a protector. It could be, um, you know, like they, it's also like, you know, they're, they're good in packs, right? They're family oriented, but they also could be a loner type. Very interesting. Hmm. Maybe you might be tempted by a wolf too. It could be like this person might be a wolf. You know, I mean, it's like, hmm. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, what you should do is really look at something here. You're getting tempted. It feels like you're not thinking correctly. This person might, maybe your emotions get the best of you or something happens. There's a temptation with this person that you can't really concentrate and think as you normally do. Because this is like Seven of Pentacles, really looking at something. This is like looking at something a second and even third time. Don't jump at anything. Could be a harvest with this too, but whew, let's see. I'll we'll have to see when we clarify too. Five of Cups. Okay, you might be feeling a, a regret here. I would say don't buy into anything from what someone says if they're saying something to you and you regret something. Just do what you need to do here. Okay. Let's see about this King of Swords in reverse. I got a sore throat now all of a sudden. I don't know. That came from someone must have a sore throat. Or someone, um, <clears throat> yeah, something about hurting throats. Maybe words might hurt. I don't know. Mm. So we have ten of wands. This is putting, you need want to put down the burdens here. So this might be an end to burdens coming up with the king of swords. And we have here this seven of pentacles. Really looking at something here. Hierophant commitment. It's weird how we have the, on this deck they they do an exorcism here. So it's like someone might be looking into the future almost. I don't, okay, this is gonna. You're gonna have to see whether or not you want a commitment here. You're gonna have to really look at this. Someone might be coming back wanting a commitment, and this is like having some regret and remorse maybe for something that happened. Okay, yeah, there's a healing. So you're going to be able to heal this somehow. A healing of the three of swords, maybe a third party situation involved here. There could be a commitment, but the main thing is for you to really look at things. Don't jump at anything here. Don't don't rush anything. If someone tries to rush you, don't let them. You take all the time you need. If someone's saying, you've got to hurry up and make up your mind, well, if someone says that to me, I say, I, then you just made up my mind. That means no. Don't let anybody rush you. Okay, let's see about the possible outcome. The final outcome, what that might be. I got two here. So we have holding intention, working with magical tools, helps focus your power and then has fairy blessings make a wish see it through and your wish will come true so this is saying you can actually manifest whatever you want 
to hold the intention, do the work. Now, what we have the bottom, you notice he come in inner chamber. Take time to commune with your spirits and ancestors. Okay, so yeah, so go within here. And you can achieve whatever you want. Let's get a few more cards. So we have here Death and the Page of Pentacles. So Death card, major transformation coming in for you. It's big change, major transformation. And then with the Page of Pentacles, looks like there's an offer coming in. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a business offer, could be a love offer. Let me get one more. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. Looks like a business offer coming in. So there's ending something. You might be ending a, something that you're doing here to start something new. A major change, I think, in your business, in your in your uh, work or your money or something. And we have here the Empress. Look at this. You're coming into a time of prosperity. Empress is the most abundant card of all the cards in the deck. So in the end, it's like you're creating this abundance. There's a major shift or a major change going off here. Let me get something on this page of Pentacles. Okay, we okay. I dropped somebody else. Let's see. I don't know if I can find it. Can I find it? I'm not gonna keep on digging. Okay, something no charm got dropped here somewhere. Okay, this is interesting. It looks like someone might be coming towards you to go for a ride. Now, whether that's on a bike, a car, a truck, a a motorcycle, I don't know. Or someone might be wanting to take a little ride, but you take a little trip, go somewhere together. Okay, so now let's see. The death card. Why is a death card here? Scorpio energy. Okay, so there's a seven of swords. This might also be the end of someone holding back or this lion cheating, stealing or something. Okay, now this page of pentacles. We have here the Three of Wands. This You might be waiting for this person, or they're waiting for the right time to come in here. What's this one? Oh, the Eight of Pentacles, yes. Let's see about the Eight of Pentacles. The Work card. Okay, okay there, you're going to have choices and options. You might be a little confused of something uh, offer at work. And we have the Death card again. There's major change taking place for you. A major shift, a major change. You're coming into a time of abundance, it seems. Okay, let me get the words on the page of Pentacles. You got someone that really, and this whole energy is about someone that really wants to be with you. They're coming in to make an offer. You also have, you're doing good in business. We have pleasure, tower, forget. Okay, so someone's coming in. It's going to please you. And something's going to happen here that you're going to forget something. Or someone forgot something. So there might be a surprise that someone forgot something. I don't know what the forget is for. But there's a major change here with the tower. Aries Scorpio energy. Some kind of surprise happening here. Maybe when they when this person shows up, you're going to remember something that you forgot. Don't forget. Maybe you are gonna forget something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we won't dwell on that. Let's see what signs you could be dealing. Placement in your chart, placement, other people charts, past, present, and future. We have Aries, Taurus. I still have a sore throat. Libra, Taurus again, Virgo, bottom of the deck we have Capricorn, we've got all the earth signs. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Aries, Taurus, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Now we do the letters, 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for a first and last name, and they have a male name, you know that male name. You get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have U, C, I, Z, O, 
V P M L N S. Okay, so letters we have today are U C I Z O B P M L N S. Okay, guys, there you have it. Take it with red lines, leave it doesn't. If you want a, a personal uh, reading done, there's an email below in the description box. Shoot me an email. I'll send you the information. You just have to put personal reading in the subject line, and I'll send you back out information. Thank you so much for all your love and support, though. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, your super thanks, your donations, and for especially for choosing me to do your personal readings. I'm so honored. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.